and guys, poor squirrel. I left some tops of some strawberries here and she keeps on coming to try and get the strawberries but we just keep opening the door. It's 60 degrees, 60. I got a sweater on, I feel just a little chilly actually. But um, yeah, 60 degrees, that's what it is in Ontario. That's yeah, anyway, good morning and welcome to our first full pool day because you know who are gonna be swimming today? Walking. Walking. Whoa. Walking. Yeah, we definitely need to put some chemicals in there, but that's a lot of water for overnight. We're a quarter of the way there. One quarter. Yeah, we definitely need some good chlorine in there. Dad will have to get it all fixed up and the pool's a bit dirty. We've had this for, this is our third summer with this baby. But yeah, oh, yeah, it's looking good. So if you can find a snail anywhere, I can't even reach it. Yuck. Ew, it feels dead. It'll come out. All right, get down from there, Miss Beauty Queen. Never. I will sit in here. Feels good to know that the pool's up. It's so sturdy. Feels good to know that it's up and that it's gonna be hot soon. It feels sturdier than last year. So but remember I said this year it's gonna be the most level it's ever been. It's totally the most level it's ever been. Mommy, it is a little bit low on that end. Right, oops, right there. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm about to clean off this table for the very last time and it is a big mess right now. Huge mess. But it is about to be clean. I am gonna get rid of all of this stuff. We have a few things that we'll continue to do throughout the summer. They'll continue homeschool next week and then we're done. We're going to do our reading log. We're gonna to continue to read and we're gonna track all the books that we read in the summer. I wanted to track all the books we read throughout the year, but somehow I got lost on that. But we will do that again next year. But for the summer, we're gonna track how many minutes we read and all the books that we read and I'm hoping that we read at least eight books this summer so we'll be doing that we'll be doing extra math every weekday morning that we're home as well this thing has held all of our work done for the whole year so in this let's see this is all the paperwork Gabby did this past year she did all this learning and this is not even close to all the learning that she did online. She did a ton of learning online and she did all this learning. That's like a lot of learning for a grade four. Like that's a lot of stuff. Including the stuff that she did online. Sophia should have more because she always does. She can do three pages to Gabby's one. Whoa, can't even lift it up. This is Sophia's. Looks pretty equal actually. So yeah, and then all this stuff, this is our curriculum in here, and this is extra math sheets, and they're all, all yeah, and this is a bunch of other stuff. All, we worked through all these things. These are all my extra sheets. So yeah, this has been our first year of homeschool, our whole first year of homeschool journey. I can't believe that it's over. Oh, there's some more pages in here that didn't get put in the right file folder. Anyway, so, Yep, it's done, it's done, I did it. And my first thoughts about homeschool, finishing my first year, is that it was amazing, it was incredible, it was the best year of my life with my children. It was, I can't look back and think that there was a single bad day. There was not a single solitary bad day. The whole thing was just amazing to me. I can look back on the school years and think of a lot of yucky days that I did not like. I loved it, I loved it, you guys. All right, Gabby, what was your, how did you feel about your first year of homeschool? First, up thumbs up or thumbs down? Or yellow first, thumbs? First, I hated it, then I was between, then I loved it. How come you hated it at the beginning? Because it was hard. Oh, so since we've been slowing down, you love it? Ah. Okay, compared to school. So homeschool was better than, than school. So really, you'd be the happiest if you had no learning to do at all. Mm -hmm. Right, but. Same with me. Same with you. But how do you feel about homeschool versus 
Regular school. What's better? Even though you don't get to see your friends every single day? Yeah, it's because when you do see your friends, it's super extra cool and special instead of seeing them every day and you're like, oh man, she's been bothering me for three days, now I have to put up with her. Right? Now when you see your friends, it's just fun. Right? So yeah, I should be more specific. When I asked the girls, did you love homeschool? No, they did not love homeschool because they don't want to do any school. Did you love homeschool instead of regular school? What? Did you love homeschool instead of regular school? Yeah. Yeah? Did you love school instead of regular school? Yeah. Rub my foot. I'm not rubbing that stinky, disgusting foot. Yuck. Rub it. No way, get your foot off of me, sister. The girls and I are just discussing our feet and our bodies, and it's so weird. My feet are oh, mom's feet. Yeah, Sophie has my exact feet. In fact, she has Sam and Sam's family's body, or head. From here up, everything is Sam's family. From the neck down, every, whoops. From the neck down, everything is mine, all the way down to these cute little dirty feet. Cute. See these little feet? These are my feet. See how the toes are all super rounded? Yeah, that's what I have. And then Gabby looks exactly like me. She looks just like me from the neck up. And then from the neck down, she has Sam's body all the way down to those crazy feet. <laughs> you have dad's feet. I know, and our feet are dirty because we went out to see the pool. Yeah, we can't show you her feet. flip-flop. Yeah. We can't show you her feet because we went outside to see the pool and our bare feet and our feet are dirty, huh? We got mail and it's for Gabby. I don't even know who it's, for, who it's from. Uh, I think I know. There's no um, name on this, so I don't even know who it's from. I hope we're not shocked to see what's inside. Let's open it up, man. Don't rush me. What is it? Who's it from? Wait. Is that it? I think so, yeah. Big package. Oh, what's, who's it from? It's an April and it's diamonds. It's an April angel. Yes, it's a birthday card. Oh, it's a birthday card. It came from Mom. Wow. I mean, got a birthday card? It's not your birthday anymore. It's June. I know. What's it say? 10 is great, 10 is fun, 10 is... <gasps> oh my goodness. Yay! Oh my goodness. Who gave it to you? When does money just come in the mail? It's full of 10 is well. Oh yay, happy, happy big 10 to you. Happy big 10. Craig and Elizabeth. Oh. To Gabby. Happy 10th birthday. Your godfather. Yes. Thanks, Craig and Elizabeth. That's just crazy. It's just crazy. She has Gabby is was oh, born in that four leaf clover she got. <gasps> Gabby got a four leaf clover yesterday, and the next day, a uh, fifty dollar bill should have been the mail for her. That is insane. Look how pretty Canadian money is. It's so pretty. Yeah, they did not. So that's from Gabby's godfather and his wife, and they are friends of ours. And let's see it. Oh, it's beautiful, a little it's like angel. A little pin. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's like for the month of April, because it says April on there and it's diamonds. Yeah. Well, they did not need to do that. It was so super sweet of them. So now we need to write to them. You need to go on my Facebook and write them a message. Actually, maybe you could write them a thank you letter. They would love that. It's not nearly as hot as it was yesterday. Ooh, it's actually kind of chilly, and they're ready to go swimming. Don't be, don't. We're close to the halfway mark, you guys. Wait, let me. This is where it gets tricky. They'll go into the water and they'll sit on the ladder for five hours while they get used to it. Oh, just jump in. We well, need that thingy, the board. Well, you gotta, you gotta go across and get it. Jump Freezing in. cold. <laughs> I wish they would get off the ladder for a sec so that I can move the ladder. Oh. She you like it up? You do know That's what taller time. than your knees, so. Yes, like right up to here. 
Here comes chicken. Oh! Come on, Gabby, get him! No! Why? Grab me that board, Sophia. Never mind. I'll just grab this one. That's it! Cool! <laughs> I told ya! Come on. Yahoo! 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 On your mark. Get it. Oh, oh. I'm gonna push you in. Go. I'm not gonna push Go. you in. Mm. Wait, I wanna drive this. <laughs> Cookie, tall bag. Crazy. I'm gonna make the tall bag. Okay. Oh, it's cool. Okay, it takes away your breath. She's got her feet in, you guys. Guys, this is not even what it feels. Oh, gosh. Ah, this hurts. Oh. Like, it's oh, so God. cold, it hurts. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't splat. Only oh, kids are crazy enough anymore. to swim in this kind of water. It's not even hot out. So today, as, as I was closing up our homeschool stuff, getting stuff put away, I was thinking they're only going to do extra math and reading all summer long. And... I'm trying to figure out what books they're going to read. So I have went online to order all the new books in Gabby's series that she's reading. And they're like $12 a book. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to cost me like a lot of money to buy all these books. And I was thinking, what did I, what? I had every book I ever wanted when I was growing up. My parents always, I, that's all I did. And, and I just read all the time. Reading was my life. And I was trying to think, how did I get all those books? And... Then I remembered that my parents bought them at the secondhand bookstore. Ah, she's in. Gabby, you know you're getting older when you act like that in the pool. Usually it's me doing that. Now it's you doing that. Usually. It's cold, that's why. Yeah, but usually you're like Sophie. Zoom right in. And now you're all a big chicken. Right here is really, really cool. Oh, it's freezing cold. Oh, oh. Mr. You're growing up, Gabby. You're growing up. Okay, so yeah, they went. To, we went. So all the time, my mom would take us, and we would go to this secondhand bookstore, and I would get to pick all the books that I wanted, and I'd get like a huge stack of books, and then we and they would last me until we would go again. And I would write down all the books I needed that were series. I read Sweet Valley High. That was a series that I read back then, and a bunch of other ones too but that was the big one and then so every time we go there I'd look for all the books and they always had a gazillion books that were for me and we went to the we went to the secondhand bookstore here and they didn't have anything it was just terrible they had a little tiny rack it was terrible so then I started thinking well maybe it's just so we've never done that so then I started thinking maybe it's just here and I realized that the bookstore that my parents went to is still open and so we're gonna go there we're gonna go there tonight and see if we can get a stack of books and another one thing that's good about it is you can take old books there and then they give you money off of ew, there's a bug in my hair <laughs> yuck anyways um yeah so we're gonna do that today and it's gonna be super fun this is our very favorite summer floaty we use it all the time we don't ever take it to the lake with us because we don't yeah. want to get algae on it but it's so fun we used to have a huge pool and it. it was amazing yes and um you can over there yeah let's throw it in. in yeah you can walk on water with this thing this is the most fun ever we got the pool size you can get a lake size one too yeah you could get like this times five yeah oh it is super cool they're super expensive Okay. But they last forever. This thing has probably been about six or seven years old. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Woo! How did I roll house? Sophia! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Gabby, walk on water. I'm not gonna I'm gonna fall, I know. <laughs> Whoa, good job. <laughs> They're going down. <laughs> good thing it wasn't very deep. <laughs> Gabby's a screamer apparently. Anyway, I cleaned the outside of the pool. Doesn't it look like brand new now? All fresh and clean. 
I cleaned the inside too, all the parts I could reach, but there's a couple of parts yeah. over there that still are a bit dirty. Yeah. I cannot wait until it's super hot out finally and I can swim. I like the water that deep better. I like a shorter pool, one that's not too deep. Because you can actually play in it. All right, so we found a bookstore. A crazy story to tell you. So we're back in the car, but anyway, we're looking now to see if we can find some of the books that Gabby needs. Do you have any horse series? Horse? Series? Yeah, like we're looking for Stacy Gregg. Um, Chestnut Hill and Heartland. There's a few horse ones. Gunsmoke, uh, Pony Pals. Just in this section right oh, okay. here is all I have. All right, great. Thank you so much. Well, that was totally a bust. Either my kids are super picky, meaning that girl, or I was super easy. When I was young, I went to that bookstore and I could find millions of books to buy. I don't understand. They didn't have any of the books that our kids read. So I guess I'm stuck hey buying guys. books full price. What? We got this. Yeah, so we got some books. And so the funny story is this. Sam does not read. Right, Sam? I read. Never. Like the least amount ever and he has never even... I saw him looking at books in there and I was shocked. Usually he's standing by the door, tapping his feet, saying, come on, let's go, come on, let's go. I was looking for a book that I actually have a photograph in myself. Yeah, that's the kind of books that Sam looks for. Anyways, so, Oops. we drive, I mean, we drive by this bookstore 500 times a year, at least 500 times a year. And I told Sam today, I want to go to the bookstore, blah, 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 because I want to see, that's where I bought books when I was little. And I want to see if there's any books there for Gabby. It'll be fun. And he's like, I don't believe you. There's a bookstore there. I'm sure there's no bookstore there. There's no bookstore there. I'm like, Sam, there's a bookstore there. So then we get here and he's like, okay, what way do I turn? And I'm like, you turn that way. And he's like, are you sure? I don't believe that there's a bookstore here. And I'm like, yeah, it's right across from that building over there that has the white car. It's right across the road from there. And he's like, oh, he sees it. And he's like, oh, there is a bookstore here. And he's shocked even though we've driven by it like 500 times every year for like 10 years. That's how little he thinks about books and notices books, right? Right, what do you have to say in defense of yourself? Where are we going? That bookstore just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of books in that store. Since we're in town, we thought we'd look at some schlike. What'd you find? Look at a fjord. 30% off too. They're okay. even cheaper now. Look, 30% off. Hey, I have this one. Oh, she's beautiful. I have her. Oh, cute donkey. What are we looking for? This is the like, new one from last year or something. I don't know, maybe it's What horse are you looking for, Gabby? What are you looking for? This oh, one, the black one? Look. This black one? This black Frisian? It's not a fusion. This is a Frisian. What is it? Uh, what is that? Oh, she's a female monkey. Look, that's a girl and that's a oh, boy. I want Look. Her. Girl and boy. Yeah, but he's like a shire. Gabby, you can also get it doesn't say, but this is a Frisian, there's a male Frisian, and this We got shire. saddles there too. All right, so we'll show you what we got at the store where they edge like. All right, what did we get? Can I do my horse first? first? Yep, you can do your horse first. What did you, wait, what did you get? I got a human. <laughs> what did you really get? A uh, beauty. Now what kind of horse is this? A stallion of Paint. some sort? Um, Painted stallion. I think he's a paint. Does it say what these are? Uh, Does it say what these are underneath? No, no. it just says schleich. Wait. Alright. What did you get? Um, so, first I didn't get this rider. Um, I got this Western tax set, which I've been wanting because I only have English. 
and I'm losing my voice kind of. My voice is weird. <clears throat> and this new horse, I don't know her breed. I think she's a Hanoverian mare and I named her Roxy. Um, yes. Okay, um, what else did you get? Then I got hey. a Lipis Honor mare. Cool. Her hair is she braided. mostly has males. Yep. I mostly have mare horses. Cool Lipis Honor hey. mare. Then I got this um horse. Um, he's a stallion, Appaloosa. Um, he's an Appaloosa stallion, and I named him Spencer. I still haven't come up with all the like the show names. Sure. Of this horse, she's a mare. She actually has a foal, but I didn't get the foal. Um, I named her Azzy. Well, what kind of horse is that? I don't know. The last thing I got was this foal, which I named her Pinky because she's she like her coat. Ball. Pink goes with her coat. So we got all these horses today. To Anyways, we got all those horses and they were really cheap. All right, guys, that's it for today. We're going to end tonight's vlog because we're going in the pool. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>